Today, we will be taking a look at the X11 SDV 16C TLN TF motherboard. Hey guys, Craig from Server Factory here with an exciting Supermicro product review. Today, we will be taking a look at the X11 SDV 16C TLN TF motherboard. This board could be a game changer for people looking to have a powerful server in the smallest chassis possible. It would be a great choice for people looking for data center level performance from home or even in a more portable chassis such as the Supermicro recommended E300. Let's take a closer look at it. So the first thing you're likely to notice is this heatsink, which takes up most of the space on the board. Underneath it is an Intel Xeon D 2183 IT processor which is 16 cores running at 2.2 gigahertz base speed and up to 3 gigahertz turbo. Supermicro has progressed quickly with these small all-in-one 16 core boards over the last few years. The closest comparison we can make is the X10 SDV 16C TLN 4F Plus, which was brilliant for its time and which many of our customers still purchase today. But this new X11 model comes with four times the RAM capacity and a clock speed boost from 1.7 GHz to 2.2 GHz. It's worth pointing out that a performance jump this big comes at some kind of cost. This CPU uses 100 watt of power compared to the X10 CPU which uses 65 watt of power. With this increased power, the heatsink is bigger and the chassis fans are now a necessity. This means that having a near silent system is no longer possible with this board. But with computing power of this magnitude, that should come as no surprise. It's also worth noting that the M.2 slot from the X10 board is no longer there, probably because the heatsink now takes up most of the space on the board. But that doesn't mean that there's no NVMe. We now have an OC link port, which is a fairly uncommon feature, even in data center boards. This provides the same super fast NVMe connection, but in a U.2 format, with a traditional two and a half inch drive, which can provide higher capacities, currently up to 16 terabyte compared to four terabyte for M.2s. There are, of course, additional SATA ports for cheaper storage, or if you want to have a mix of SATA and NVMe. Another key difference is that the X10 board has four ethernet ports, 2x1 gig LAN and 2x10 gig SFP+. This board has 2x10 gig LAN, so no SFP+, but faster LAN speeds are possible. But it is worth noting that Supermicro could release a new model in the future that has this. Also, both boards come with an RJ45 port for Supermicro's brilliant dedicated IPMI software, which we've spoken about previously in other videos. So to sum up, the best word to describe this board is versatile. It is designed to provide maximum performance for small chassis setups and it does so wonderfully. With a CPU that's at the same level as a Xeon Gold range, a massive RAM capacity and U.2 NVMe built in, there has never been a better motherboard for high performance applications from any location. What do you think about this motherboard? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you're enjoying this video, then please leave a like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.